One of the largest and oldest flour mills lives right here in the Driftless region, and it's celebrating its 125th anniversary. News 19's Crystal Flintrup shares how Bay State Milling is still thriving and feeding the nation more than a century and a quarter later. It's a family-owned company that cares about other families. Flour is a basic ingredient that's a staple for families across the nation. In fact, the average person will consume around 130 pounds of flour every year. And for the past 125 years, Bay State Milling has strived to provide nutritious food at an accessible level. Back in 1899, our founder, Bernard Rothwell, um, took a train from Boston to Minnesota to purchase this mill in 1899. He came to Minnesota because Minnesota had a reputation for high quality flour. Um, due to its proximity to the spring wheat fields of North Dakota, South Dakota, and Minnesota. As the need for more flour grew, both locally and nationally, so did Bay State Milling. A company that started in Winona has grown exponentially in the past century. Now there are 12 locations throughout the U.S. and Canada, but Winona remains the largest. We have uh, 100, over 110 people that work here in Winona. It produces over 2 million pounds of flour every day. That is just a staggering number, I think, to the average person when you talk about what's going on behind the, the big white grain silos we have outside here. Every aspect from start to finish takes place in this location. We take uh, wheat from the field, bring it into our grain elevator, and then send it over to a cleaning system. We send them through a series of grinding rolls. So it's a grinding, sifting, grinding, sifting type process. So uh, we're breaking open the kernel, extracting different parts. So you'll get bran and germ. And then what you're left with at the end is uh, the main portion of the kernel. So about 78% of a wheat kernel becomes a white flour that everybody's used to having. Even though a century has passed since the creation of this company, this process hasn't changed all that much. There has been some modernization by using technology to monitor and test the product, but the innovation is in the product itself. Some of the innovations that are happening today are with more nutritional type flowers. As an example, uh, Bay State Milling has a high fiber flower that we call HealthSense. Um, we're the first and only one to offer this flower in the United States and it provides 10 times the fiber of a traditional white flower. And so with that, fiber is typically a deficient nutrient in Americans' diets. And it's a good feeling being able to provide the key ingredient to help feed the nation. It's one of the main staples of the American diet and waking up every day and knowing that you're helping feed people with a nutritious, affordable and accessible food ingredient feels pretty good. In Winona, I'm Crystal Flintrop, News 19. Now, the Winona plant doesn't just make and ship flour that you buy at the grocery store. In fact, they not only provide flour to many area bakeries and pizzerias, but also to some Midwest favorite restaurants and gas stations.